from August 8, 1962 to September 19, 2015, Sabado Gigante has reached the end. Today, I am giving a tribute to Sabado Gigante with creator slash host Don Francisco. His real name is Mario Kreutzberger. If some of my paragraphs offend you, I apologize for the sake of insurance, but I am giving my honest opinions. My very first taste of Sabado Gigante was in the summer of 1999 when I had a vacation at Clearwater, Florida before Indianapolis, Indiana had Univision, the Spanish speaking channel. Sabado Gigante was a game show because I am attracted to games and to game shows. But Sabado Gigante was more than a game show. It was a variety show like Hypermarket. Meyer, Target, and Walmart are examples of hypermarkets. And it felt like a telephone, even though it was three hours long. From all the set designs of past Sabado Gigante episodes. I like the set designs from the 1990s because the set designs from the 1990s were like you were living in a game and the set designs from Sabado Gigante in the 1990s remind me of Meyer in the 1990s. And Purple Cow reminds me of Jackal. I will explain about Jackal later. How many people who speak English as their first language, like me, watched Spanish-speaking television. I was offended that the parental ratings from each episode on Sabado Gigante are not unanimous. Thanks to parental controls, some juvenile fans missed a single episode of Sabado Gigante because of a severe parental rating thus permanently ruining childhood by the dishonorable acts of mixed parental ratings. Thank you very much, people who are in charge of parental ratings from Univision. I was offended by seeing brand censorship from the frames of television monitors from the 2010s Sabado Gigante and from other things from the 2010s Sabado Gigante. Why is Univision offended with the censored brands? And what is the root to Univision's problem. I believe that Univision had negative experiences with those censored brands. Thus, Newton Ball theory of bullying, also known as the jerk tonium epidemic. I was offended that I do not see any males 
in leotards slash briefs from past episodes of Sabado Gigante because I only see females in leotards slash briefs from past episodes of Sabado Gigante. Is Don Francisco interested of wearing leotard slash briefs in public like the females? Is Javier Romero interested of wearing leotard slash briefs in public like the females? To tell you the truth, I like performing in a leotard in public, even though I am a male. You want to know how to fix the wardrobe malfunction so males can have fun in their leotards slash briefs in public? Extend the crouch length to seven and one quarter inches before adding 3 8 inch thick elastic. And mathematics saves the day. And anybody is welcomed to use my royalty free idea. Part two will continue 